What's up, everybody? RevivalHouse.net, the Rival House Network. Got a commentary. Going to continue the Corey Feldman exploitation after months of not doing anything of the guy. I think the last thing we did was... We got to honor him because he was stabbed. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. So before we get into all that, there's a lot of fucking shit to talk about with that fucking guy. Uh, we got Mac here from Mac and Zach Save the World. Uh, I'm Aaron and Zach as well. Uh, anyway, to further you know contribute to the uh, Feldman exploitation in honor of his stabbing, his injury, quote unquote, uh, we're going to watch Friday 13th, part four, the final chapter. Because it's Friday 13th, baby. Wait, hold on. He got stabbed? So we'll get right into it. Let's start the movie and we'll tell them all about this. You don't fucking know about that? Are you serious? Oh my no. lord. Okay. Well, it's good because he didn't get stabbed. So yeah, it's totally fucking fake. Yeah, I was gonna say that's fucking fake as shit. I've never heard anything. Well, it's real, but it's fake, and you'll that'll make sense in a moment. So let's go ahead and uh, cue it up, and we're gonna do a three, two, one, play. Perfect. So. Yeah, have you not been on the news or the internet in the past couple of weeks with the Feldman? So, he basically went, uh, I think, he, did he just make a post, Zach? Was it like on Instagram or something? Where did he broadcast this? I don't know. I don't think, I didn't hear it. I just heard about it on like news things and So, stuff. basically, via social media, he claimed that uh, uh, some somebody from the party of the Hollywood pedophiliac elites stabbed him he was driving or whatever and he had a and somebody came up to him in his car window and just fucking stuck their arm in and stabbed him with an unknown object he didn't know what it was and he drove away or whatever and he went to the doctor and he posted a picture of him at the hospital that looked fake as shit it looked so staged it looked like it was done in a hotel room to be honest with you <laughs> um anyway they ended up showing a picture of his wound and it looks like somebody it looks like he stabbed himself with a pencil <laughs> And you could tell, you could tell he did it himself. Now, and on the video that he released like yesterday or whatever, and then deleted it, I guess. Did he delete it? Cause you guys watch it. I don't think so. Didn't watch anything. All right. Well, yeah. Like I, he's like, oh yeah, I was stabbed. Here's my papers. Here's this. He was showing like, you know, the page from like when he went to the doctor and he's showing the stuff that he told them. So this isn't like his diagnosis this is his shit that he walked in and said, yeah. this is what happened. Of course, they write that down, but he was showing that. And then he, and it kind of changed like, oh, yeah, I was stabbed with a needle, like like a syringe. Or, it was, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he. I, I would I would have came out with that first, and then at least we might have had like a shred of belief. Like, okay, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, because then mm -hmm. whatever. But it, it sounded so asinine. And then when he shows it, it's like a little dot. I mean, I've had I've had worse, you know, paper cuts. You think he would have said, "Oh, it was an attempted stabbing." Yeah, it's so stupid. And of course, the first thing that I think is, okay, the media has really quieted down on Corey Feldman because when he came out saying he had all these names that he wouldn't give about these people, these pedophiles in Hollywood, he was trending like he had not been trending in years, right? People mm -hmm. were talking about him. He was going on TV shows. I think he liked the attention. He was on that. He was on that other huckster, Doctor Oz. His show. Yeah, yeah, I know. Doctor. All of a sudden, he's just saying like, "Oh yeah, it was this guy, this little ant that no one knows about that hasn't worked in a while." Is that guy? <laughs> you know, trying to get money out of people to uh, to get legal help and, and fund his documentary that will expose everything. And it just seems. I don't. Why is it taking so long? Yeah, it's dumb. It's he's got he's got money. It takes, I don't know, but it take, it's taken way too long. And I'm not saying that he wasn't fucking diddled because he's clearly, he's fucked up in the head. Somebody touched his dick. Yeah. I don't think he wants money for that. I think he wants money to make a new album. And he wants Snoop Dogg to do <sighs> more Angelic to the core, too. <laughs> and Fred Durst was on that album, too. <laughs> oh, my God, I know. Yeah, but. It was a who's who of just fucking washed up fucks. I'm surprised fucking ICP wasn't on it. <laughs> I'm surprised me and Zach weren't on it. But we seriously, he, he he saw this insane he saw this insane spike of interest, and it, people just kind of stopped talking about him for a couple of months. And this to come out just seemed like, hey, look, I'm still here, right? It seemed like he did it himself. Mm -hmm. And I, he lost a lot of credibility with me. Not that he had too much to begin with, but I at least gave him the benefit of the doubt that he had been fucked up when he was a kid. And I still think he did. But, man, who's going to believe him now? Because even if he does take someone to court and he starts shouting names, all that guy has to do is be like, guys, consider the source. Look at that fucking guy. This is who's saying did this. And they're going to look at Corey Feldman 
the guy that fucking said he got stabbed cried wolf and he fucking stabbed himself with a pencil. Thinks he's fucking uh, Michael Jackson. He's like, are you guys going to believe the guy that runs a cult of like crackhead angels? <laughs> I mean, he doesn't have a case, man. And I hate to say that, but he does. He heard his credibility. Mm -hmm. But he's fucked up, man. That is pretty fucked up. I thought, man, this guy has to be like, he has to be f fucking lying whenever he's like, oh, yeah, well, I need $10 million to make the documentary. And then people are like, that's fucking crazy. And then he's like, okay, never mind. I need $10,000. Dude, I think if he had the evidence for all that, I think someone would do it for free. <laughs> you think so? Someone would do it. Because it's such a prolific case. Yeah, they're going to want to do that. If, like, if there was. Or at least cheaper than that. If there was this huge cabal of fucking Hollywood people that wanted him dead, wouldn't he be fucking dead by now? Well, that was exactly what I said, and not to make light of somebody get killed or whatever, but I said, if these Hollywood elite pedophiles really hired that guy to fucking try and take him out, they need to get their money back. They need to dispute that fucking <laughs> transaction with their bank, because that guy fucking sucks. We didn't tell you to use a pencil. We talked over the opening, which is actually the best opening in any of the movies, I think. Yeah, I think we're ruining the movie by talking about Corey. No. <laughs> but anyway, I was thinking like, uh, what was I going to say? Fuck. Well, you know, we were saying this. Basically, you, a fucking millionaires are not going to hire Tyrone Biggums off the street to go stab him with a fucking needle. You know? Oh, here's what I was going to say. I was going to say, I'm not a guy that's like, oh, it had to have been a conspiracy. But the first thing I thought of was, did Corey Feldman stage that to get back in the news? first thing you think and like i said if like you said and I, I we talked about this prior if they wanted him dead he'd be dead it's not that hard to fucking take somebody out they're not going to run up to him while he's in traffic in a car and fucking stab him yeah. with a window it, I mean, what kind of vulnerable position is that for him just to take off they will shoot him he had his bodyguards with him too stupid totally dumb man yeah i'm sure they didn't make a sound all they would have had to done is go to one of his shitty concerts and do and buy the meet and greet. They probably did it. Uh, one they of his fans. Fuck. No, his bodyguards. All they did was buy one of his fucking meet and greet tickets, like like Riverman did. Go to one of his concerts, meet him, hang out backstage, shake his hand. Wait till he's on that hoverboard shit, and then just shank him and run away. <laughs> I mean, knock out his fucking tooth. That was so. You're trying to tell me <laughs> when he got his when he's got his tooth knocked out, that was a hit attempt. Maybe that was somebody trying failing to kill him again. <laughs> They tried to fucking punch him in the face. I think Corey Feldman with those with those. First of all, if I was the defense attorney, that's all I would do. Look, exhibit a you guys are going to believe this guy. And I'd play for the court for the jury. The view two videos of him knocking his own fucking tooth out and doing all this fucking bumbling shit falling off his hoverboard. <laughs> he knocked his tooth out on YouTube. Yes, because he's stupid. Is that a concert? I'd be like exhibit a clearly this guy hurts himself more than anybody. Like it's him. He should be on Jackass. The thing, the point. He he knocked his tooth out, but then he fucking spent twenty minutes trying to find it. Like what an idiot. Stops the show. Everybody, everybody, don't move. Look down. Find look, look for a tooth. You gotta put that on ice. <laughs> you gotta keep fucking going, and then and then show your missing tooth. Like look how fucking cool I am. All right, someone's mm. gonna have to give me a tooth, or I am going to jail. Wasn't he trying to do the Bono, like do the the mic kick and bend it down, then bring it back up? And he hit himself in the face. And he hit himself in the fucking face. So I gotta see this. It was even himself that knocked his tooth out. It wasn't anybody else. That's what I'm saying. Like, that would be my total defense on the thing. Like, this guy clearly... Look, look, look at these videos, everybody. He clearly is a danger to himself. <laughs> this guy stabbed himself. Poked himself. Just watch this fucking episode of Wife Swap where it, it's revealed that he makes all of his angels sign a contract. That any money they make, most of it, like a bunch of it goes to him. What was the video of one of his angel, his ex angel? I didn't watch it. Somebody sent the video. What was she saying? She was like, uh, sort of uh, uh, blowing the lid on his whole cult. I didn't watch the whole thing either. I need to. In a nutshell, he was crazy. Yeah. I mean, you know, they all. It's this weird convent. You know, they all fuck him. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? He's a he's a poor man's Hugh Hefner. I would fuck him. He was on Goonies and Friday Thirteenth Part Four. <laughs> Speaking of that, Zach, are you gonna you want to go with the horror hound? I already said I did, and nobody out there knows what you're talking about, Mac. So I don't care what they think. You like to have you like to continue private conversations on a podcast. It's really yeah. I don't care what they it's think. Really I asked weird. Zach to go to a horror but hound. I already weekend. gave you an answer <laughs> on the on the thing. These guys are fucking. 
couple of old hens bickering. Make sure you're not talking right into your microphone, too. No, I'm I'm talking around it. Where do I know this coroner from? Haven't we seen him in another movie besides this? He seems like he's just playing the, the guy from a Halloween 2. Yeah. Amazing Grace, come sit on my face. <laughs> he should have said that to that chick. She's really, she's an attractive nurse. She kind of looks like Phoebe Cates. Oh, yeah. No, she doesn't anymore. She did from the side. I would fuck Phoebe Cates and I would eat her ass. She's attra- She's still attractive. I mean. we need That should be our first shirt. We were talking about maybe getting a Teespring and making shirts about random catchphrases. We say, one of them's got to show Phoebe Cates or Sonya Blade and say, I would eat her ass. You think anybody would re- like wear that, though? Yeah, it's got to be Sonya Blade because that's where it originated. <laughs> oh, my God. And then, okay, so Mac. All right. Oh, I don't want to say it because I don't want to ruin it for anybody out there that hasn't watched it. But all I can say is, by the time this goes up, our uh, retro rampage for Devil May Cry Three will be up, and you have to listen to it because there's a story on there you're gonna love that you're gonna. There's a big reveal that I've never told you. A huge fucking reveal, and it's amazing because I had to pry it out of him. He like started <laughs> kind of saying, "Oh, I almost said this, but I, I stopped myself." I'm like, "Well, you can't fucking not tell us now." And then I had to twist his arm for like 5 minutes and and it was really a climax. It was a build up and he finally said it, and I was like, "Man, in my mind I'm thinking, you better not be building this up and it's going to suck." And it did not disappoint. When he fucking came out with it, I was like, "My jaw dropped." I could not came believe out with it. what? You you have to listen. He's thinking I told you I, I reveal that I'm gay or something right now. <laughs> That's what no, I was thinking. No. <laughs> No, no, no. It's got and the thing, and yeah, he, and I said, and he was like, "Oh yeah," I was like, "I don't, I don't talk about that." I was like, "Well, surely Mac knows." He's like, "No, I've never told anybody, not even Mac," which I found hard to believe. So I think it's awesome, and I can't wait for you to listen to it. And and don't should we tell him who it involves, or should we just let it be a surprise? Leave it. All right, surprise. Uh, it'll be a total <laughs> surprise, and then everybody that's listening to this podcast, it's it's on our uh, retro rampage. That will make cry three. It's a it's a let's play that went totally fucking south. And whatever you do, whenever you find out, Mac, do not tell the name of the person I'm talking about. <laughs> do not. <laughs> and it's it's so funny because uh uh it's so good. Not th- so hold on. If if I'm not supposed to reveal a name, then how am I not supposed to know about it? You're gonna know. You're gonna know who I'm talking about when we do it, but I don't say his name and don't say his name. Ever. It kind of sounds like I already know who you're talking Probably, about. Probably, so, but don't say So just it. leave it there. So just leave it there. But anyway, everybody at home, like I said, you can watch and listen to that story on the, the, the Retro Rampage. We don't put the Retro Rampages these days on iTunes because they're more video format. But I was telling Zach, it was very organic that, like, man, not that we don't like the Retro Rampage, but I was like, man, I can't believe we wasted the story on that. Because it's <laughs> So it's like, it's not going to go to waste. We are going to either put it as a bonus at the end of a commentary, maybe this commentary, I don't know, or we'll just do it separately because this story goes on for like 25 minutes. We could, we could literally just put it on as like a bonus episode and, and, and Aaron and Zach shoot the shit and we'll, we can already, we already have the perfect like clickbait titles. We could, we could make it. So uh, we're kind of, you know, weighing our options as far as that goes, but we don't want, wait, why am I not supposed to say a name? Because you don't even know who it is. You don't even know right now anyway. He can always censor the name out like it matters. Well, you don't know who it is right now anyway. So it's like, you'll just have to listen to it. <laughs> anyway. I mean, don't get on Facebook and, and say like, oh, Zach told this story about you. That's fucked up. Don't let him know that you know. <laughs> Why would I fucking <laughs> to say anything? He's paranoid. He's, he's Zach is. I mean, I know like a bunch of people that we know that you've done fucked up shit with. This is the, this takes the cake. Like that story you told me fucking about the trailer, the camper. That's fucking What's that? Funny. That's nothing. Tell That's me that. No, well, you already know about it. That was that was the first time I smoked weed. I know about that? Yeah. I didn't know about it. What happened? Refresh my memory. Refresh my memory, please. Well, just listen just listen to the uh the fucking the April Fools Day Mac and Zach coming out, you'll hear the story again. Well, give me the short version. Wait, did you already release it? Not yet. It's coming out soon. It's already past April Fools. I know we couldn't we had two episodes come out on April Fools. <laughs> I know. Give me the short version. What happened? Did you fucking trip balls? No, I, I just got a headache, really. That's it? 
That's the big story. <laughs> he told his mom too about it. And she's like, "What?" Yeah. Okay, so Mac, the story that we're talking about blows oh, the fucking shit. shit out of the water. That's that's nothing. This is like pretty extreme. I'd like to have her sit on my cock. Sorry. No, it's 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 pretty great. That's a real workout video too that you can find on YouTube. Or I somewhere. know it's awesome. I've jerked off to it like five hundred times. But yeah, this is my favorite Jason Ted White. The fucking long, dirty fingernails and shit. Yeah, he sure had the body for it. He has a great bod. Mm. I would fuck his bod. Uh. I heard he'll be at a... Him and a couple other Jasons will be at a... a was it New Jersey? Uh, Monster Mania? Yeah, and they'll be actually playing the Jasons. I think they have those in Chicago, too. I can't, uh, maybe it's not. It's something like that. No, they have them in... There's one in Cherry Hill in New Jersey, and there's one, I believe, in South Carolina, if I'm not mistaken, and there's one here in Phoenix. What is that one that's in Chicago? That's uh something Jason madness or, some or something. That's that's no. no, that's the one that that's the one Robert England went to and beat was Freddie for the first time, like a couple years ago. Uh I can't think of it. The last time, you mean? Well quote unquote. Yeah. That mask. I know this guy named Brandon who makes those masks is pretty sweet. Fucking awesome. His mom is fucking hot and his sister is fucking hot. Dude, I'd love to be him right now. He probably fucked them both. I want to be one of those Pornhub situations where it's like, oh, honey, you're not sucking his cock, right? Let me show you. <laughs> Look at him. This reminds me of Space Invaders mask. He looks ridiculous. Yeah, we're, we're all nah. a little bit on different, like very slightly not synced up right, but it's okay. Well, it's because when you guys went back, I went back, and then fucking, it was like by two seconds. Well, right, he just put on his glasses for me. Yeah, me too. Not to me, this is, this is how fucked up, see, he just now put on his glasses for me. <laughs> oh. This is how fucked up Voodoo is. Like, I, I rewind it, you're counting down, it says it's pause, it shows the pause symbol, I click it, or no, it it, it, it is paused, but it says the play symbol is there. So I press the play symbol and then it, it pauses it. So then I have to press it again for it to start playing. You, to, to Voodoo's credit, they didn't make this app for podcasters, for, for commentators, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It works fucking fine whenever it's on the TV for me, but it's only on like a browser when it does it. And the reason it does it is because it always starts out low quality and then it adjusts it according to your fucking internet connection. Hey, dude, it's McFly's dad. Fucking George McFly. What's up, McFly? What's he from? Um, He looks so familiar. I want to say he's in another horror movie. Dude, hey, it's Justin from fucking Jeepers Creepers. That's what he looks like. Justin Long. Justin Long. <laughs> yeah. You think Justin Long has a long cock? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude, but I'd fuck him. Remember when he was a thing? I would suck his dick. Dude, I love Justin Long. He's fucking awesome. I, I don't. I think he's annoying. I like Really? Uh, even Drag Me to Hell, I love that movie, but he's the only downfall. It's like, uh, he doesn't ruin the movie by any stretch, but it's like, he had to be in this fucking shit. Yeah, I just don't think he's funny. I think he did. I really liked him in Alvin and the Chipmunks. I thought he was really good. Aaron's never <laughs> seen fucking, uh, he's never seen Jeepers Creepers. Dude, the third one's a joke. I tried to watch it, and it I was like, yeah, fuck. It was, ba- it was basically like a setup for the fucking fourth one. Why are you gonna do that? When you- <laughs> why why you do that? You don't even know you'll have the money to make a fourth. You're already making a third. Why make it a setup? And, and like, oh, shocker, it's a prequel to part two. So it happens days after the first one. Like, and nothing happens in it. Fuck you. That movie sucked. You you fucking child molester you. And it's funny because he fucking, like, at the beginning of the movie, he fucking everyone sees him. It's so funny. He's just, like, riding on his truck. Broad fucking daylight. Yeah, and then he, like, kills people in daylight and shit. It's just fucked. Is this the newest one? Yeah. It makes no sense to, like, the second and third. <laughs> that is the third. The first one is actually a good monster movie. And then the second one's just like, eh. The second one's basically that episode of South Park where they get stuck on the fucking bus. <laughs> and the monster's coming. a sticky situation. <laughs> yeah, the monster's <laughs> coming after him. Now that's what I call a sticky situation. Here, here's a continuity error. Pamela Voorhees and the date is totally wrong to when she would have died. Because, remember, part two takes place a year after part one. Part three takes place the next day. And this one takes place the ne- that night of part three the next day. So That's fucked up. It's confusing. I just don't know how Adam Sandler is in here. Okay. 
Oh, these glasses. Oh. You know what this movie reminds me of? And I, I might have told you the story in like private, Zach, but. Or maybe I just talk about it with River. But River Man and I, um, fuck, freshman year of high school, I think. No, maybe sophomore year of high school. We went to this uh, radio festival in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, because we wanted to see Jerry Cantrell. It was headlined by Nickelback, and he, by the way, which we left before Nickelback. We left before Nickelback. Did and we, we see wa- the, the Monsters of Mayhem, too? Methods of Mayhem, yeah. They, Methods they, of Mayhem. We walked out. Oh, we yeah. walked out on him. And uh, yeah, that's when he came well, out. He's so amazing. He came out on stage and played like his, he opened with his metal version of Shout Out the Devil. Did you ever watch his, South, his uh, sex tape with Pamela the, Anderson? The, the yacht. I've seen, yeah. I've seen clips of it. And his uh, big old fat dick. How's come every time, every time there's a hot chick that has a sex tape, the fucker recording it doesn't like they suck. really film the girl. It's just, just like, oh, I'm I'm more concerned with my dick. Look at it driving the boat. Like, so look at her tits, you fucking <laughs> retard. Close up on the cock. So that day we, uh, it was the hottest day of the year, and we had fucking we had boils on our face. We had giant ass blisters we both look like a toxic avenger it was very unsafe oh is this when you went home and slept for a, like 24 hours straight yeah we we went to his house we on the way home we went by taco bell we got a boatload of chili cheese burritos because we were malnourished we were poor high school kids and they were charging for water it was like 130 degrees and we hadn't eaten all day and it was horrible and then we got these burritos we went back to his basement we put on the final chapter of this movie and we literally fell asleep at the part we just saw where they're all in the car and you first see McFly. fly that's the last thing i remember about that day we woke up what we thought was like that night or something we thought it was that night um no it was the next morning we thought we woke up the next morning so we got home at night and his mom wakes us up and we're like okay i better go home dude it was a fucking school day this was on a saturday we fell asleep at his house and we thought we woke up on a sunday she woke us up monday morning we slept (laughs) we slept like 36 hours how is that because it was dark did you stay home or did you go to school i would have stayed home uh no, it was actually it was at my bad. It was during the summer, so there was no school. But yeah, so oh, okay. we uh, we fell asleep Saturday night. Thought she woke us up Sunday morning. We literally thought for uh, for the first thirty minutes of being up, just kind of waking up, that it was Sunday. It fucking was Monday morning. <laughs> Never slept that long. <laughs> was in our it lives. too dark? Was it just dark in his room? We were exhausted. What? We we were out in the fucking <laughs> blazing heat for uh, it, twelve hours, and it was like one hundred and thirty degrees. We had no food. We had heat exhaustion. We were very you could have guilted them into giving you free water if you wanted to. You probably just didn't think it about was it. bad. Like we little, you should ask Todd. You should ask him. We look like we had nasty. I'm glad school wasn't in session because we had nasty fucking blisters all over our face. We looked horrible. We looked like Freak Show from Harold and Kumar. <laughs> it's bad. I always call that movie Harold and Comer. <laughs> <laughs> you want to watch Harold and Comer in White Castle? Daddy's not coming on anything. Harold and Comer. I like the Christmas one. That one's funny. Which one's the dude? Uh, not not the guy. Uh, who's who's the Asian dude? That's uh, fuck. What is his name? I know his name. John Cho. That's Harold. Yeah, he's on. He, he's on the he's season two of Exorcist. He's on American Pie. Pretty good so far. Yeah, that chick's hot too. Milf, 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 milf. I want to say she's been in other stuff too. I'll get the IMDb up. Yeah, man. <laughs> Let's IMDb it up, babe. So uh, that A Quiet Place was pretty good. So, and I heard about, I'm going to go see it tomorrow, actually. And Dude, I, it's really good. And I saw your uh, glowing review of it, so hopefully it is really good, but I'm going to check it out tomorrow. What I don't know. It? It's it's really different. I'm down. What, what is it? A Quiet Place. Is it a movie? It's a... Supp- no, it's a place that's really quiet. <laughs> It's a supposed horror movie starring John Krasinski, the guy from The Office. It's more like a suspense. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to watching it. It's really good. Look, I'm reading that newspaper. Look at that fucking blonde hair. Fuck you. See, imagine if it was one of those porno videos. Yeah. Honey, you're not sucking his cock right. <laughs> Honey, you're going to bed. I thought you could lick my vagina. She pulls the newspaper down. What do you mean you want to go out with your boyfriend? You should stay here with me. Yeah, exactly. That chick that you said, what was she in? She's in Weird Science. That's it. That's exactly where I know her from. She's the date. They they have two dates at the prom. And uh, yeah, she's uh, one of the kids' dates. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang with Val Kilmer. She's in that. That's a good movie. 
You watch that? Beverly Hills 90210, American Ninja, Hannibal. Come, Harold and Kum- Kumar. Uh, are we, we going to see the knockers, man? Desert kickboxer. What? Kickboxer ripoff. Are we going to see the peeper in the tree? It's 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 a crossover. It's Desert Heat makes kickboxer. Oh, she was on Charles in Charge, it looks like. No, but ex- I knew her from Weird Science. That's And Full House. She was on all kinds of oh, shit. Oh, she's on Full House too. Dude, he's still getting boners. Shoot, I know her I know in Full House, she plays uh, Uncle Jesse's ex-girlfriend on the episode that guest stars Scott Bayo where he's Dr. Dare. Oh yeah. Scott Bayo. Beowulf. Is this the scene where Gizmo comes in here? What if Candace comes out and says, Scott Bayo tried to fuck me on the set of Full House? He gave me pink eye. Is she going to turn around this century? Look at her just smirking like (laughs) kids. The mom's like, ooh. Like, oh, kids will be kids. That'd be awesome if she started flicking her bean watching him. And and he's like, mom, what are you doing? And she started sucking his cock. (laughs) (laughs) And then his sister came in and went, mom, you're not sucking his cock, right? (laughs) Mom, what are you doing? And she started sucking on his cock. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> then they got like they got like a uh, fucking train of dick sucking. Uh, what if that's actually what happened, and that's what he's talking about the the pedophiles in Hollywood? Oh, that's a good point. Probably not. We we're thinking they're men, but they're really women. Kimberly Beck. I mean, he's the one that's going for it. Look at him putting his hand on his mouth. Like, damn, he's a kid, man. You can't say he wants that cock. Close up on that cock. And show me love. You have got charisma. You have got charisma. <laughs> nah. Yeah, it's, it's a special hair. quality of leadership that captures legitimacy and devotion. <laughs> I'm the I'm the guy that popped your daughter's trunk. <laughs> so, I, so I'm guessing Crispin Glover didn't have a whole lot of range in his early acting days because he's basically just acting like McFly, kind of withdrawn, you know. Look at his hands and his fucking armpits. <laughs> it's the same guy. A bit, yeah. Just a nerdy character. Holy shit. Two twins. Yep, this is a porn. The twins, baby. Mm. Hi, I'm Justin Long's cousin. Justin Short. <laughs> look at that guy. Look, oh, at, look at that, Sandler look at that neck hole. Oh my gosh. They're, they're good on chicks. Oh, look at that tit pop out. That neck hole, though. Look at Adam Sandler's shorts. <laughs> yeah, dude. Look at that one guy. That guy wants he tuck, he tucks a golf shirt in little fucking Daisy Dukes. Why does he tuck his shirt in? Yeah, why is he doing that? I don't know why he do that. Which which twin would you rather fuck? Which one's hotter? The one that had the tit popping out. Mm-hmm. They default. both look the same, man. <laughs> they both look the same. But I can tell the one That's on the left racist. likes the party. I think one has bigger titties. They got the same titty. <laughs> They're the Timberly Beck. She was in Independence Day. <laughs> she was in Beck, the movie. She was in Independence Day 2. Apparently, she uh, regrets doing this movie. Who does Is it? that her right there you're talking about? No, the main chick, the blonde Why? sister. Dude, people are idiots when they, they regret doing horror movies that launch their, their careers. I mean, this is not a, a bad horror movie. It could be worse, right? She could have been in Evil Tunes. She wasn't. What's she Evil was- Tunes? The greatest fucking movie ever. But regardless, is that a cartoon? It's like here's a quote she put from for the movie. My my best scene was cut out. It was where I find my mother and she's dead. The producer and director Joe Zito decided the scene was too offensive. That was a, the original ending, which is on the DVD. Why would you be ashamed? First of all, it's, she's mad at that. <laughs> she said that was her best best scene i guess it could be so much worse because she was in a, uh, an installment of the highest grossing sl- slasher franchise ever that's not that bad and mm-hmm. she shared the screen with feldman and crispin glover there's other people in this with her you know it's, mm-hmm. it's kind of a- and show me love tits we have got some titties Jeez. oh here we go justin don't do it justin are they gonna laugh at his dick <laughs> justin <laughs> And here, son, we got some kids. We're we're gonna fuck them. This is a porn. Oh, Cujo, get your ass back here. The dog. I forget the dog's name, but he says it like eighty times in the movie. Gordon. Oh lord, I saw his dick. And no, I definitely didn't see anything from the front. Yeah, uh-huh, it was under his legs. It was bouncing. <laughs> so his legs. This is the scene from basketball. And they're like <laughs> throbbing cock. Did I just fart? They probably taped the dick up so it doesn't bounce. I saw something bouncing. Here's where he gets naked now. 
He takes his shit off. How come they didn't tape up Arnold Schwarzenegger's swinging dick in the first Terminator? He's just swinging back and forth. The day I, I never noticed. Yeah, well, so in, in the first Terminator... <laughs> How do you notice all these swinging dicks? It's dude? right in I'm front of you. Worried. He's walking towards the camera. No way. Yeah. It's when he's... he's walk- you ever seen Hollow Man with fucking Kevin Bacon's dick? Oh, yeah. Dick? Does he get naked? Fuck Kevin Bacon. Listen to me for a second. Oh, I would suck that bacon. <laughs> suck that bacon. <laughs> so <laughs> fuck Kevin Bacon. <laughs> pecan, dude, it's French. It's pecan. And pecan. In Terminator, it's the scene where uh, uh, Schwarzenegger's walking towards Bill Paxton and the other punks, and he takes their clothes. So you uh-huh. see him walk towards the camera. Now on the VHS, they they were trying to be clever with the shadows. You can see his dick, but his dick is like in the shadows, so it's really dark. Watch it on Blu-ray. Yeah, you had to. You- Dude, we know what you're looking for. You did that on purpose. You bought that just for. I've I've seen his dick in a picture, and I wasn't impressed. (laughs) You know whose dick? Hey, just watch Fight Club at the end and pause it. Oh, you can see Brad Pitt's dick. Is that really his dick? I would assume it's probably not. It's probably standing. Pretty sure it is a standing dick. Anyway, Uh, stunt cock on the Blu-ray. It, it everything's a lot more clear. But anyway, on T two, you see Robert Patrick's dick too. When he like first appears in the future and he's naked, crouched down, you see his fucking penis and his balls under his legs, and then him like turn to the left. It's pretty gross. You, 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 we know where you're looking whenever there's yeah, a new guy scene. Yeah, we know you pause it and brighten it, zoom in, put <laughs> turn, turn off the you contrast, brighten all the settings and shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Yep, I see it in those shadows. It's perfect." Wait, oh what? look at the, look at the shape of it! It's fucking amazing. <laughs> What's on her arm? Right Her- there? She's got hairy it's arms. Like a triangle. It's like a green triangle. Well, she's got hairy arms too. You can look at the HD. You can see all the hairs. <laughs> I think hairy arms on a girl's unattractive. He's trying to cover it up with hairy arms. Really? Yeah, hairy arms <laughs> grosses me out. It's like, what are you, Eddie Munster? Hairy dicks. Shave she, it. She's dude. a fucking human being with with the hair that grows on her arms. Wax it. Like Whole hair. body wax it. Dicks. I ain't gonna do that shit. I ain't gonna make a, a chick do it. Whole thing. A chick wax. could come up with fucking. She could come up with her, her fucking arm hair braided, and I'd be like, okay, gross. What about, what about <laughs> okay? So what about armpit hair? That's what he said. Armpit hair braided. I I'm not fucking her armpits. Gross. So what if she's got one of those big old beavers that connects to her belly button? Oh, I would fuck the shit. Oh, uh. <laughs> that's too far. No, it's just the way God made them, man. Just like you said. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'm just joking. Tech of the beaver. Why'd she have to get killed so early? Look at Feldman bent over there for you, Zach. Ready for no it. No one got killed. Look, the Feldman's bent she over. She was faking it. She was fake. He was, he's been over for Joseph Zito, the director. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph Zito also directed The Prowler, which has one of my favorite fucking slasher kills ever. Is Joseph Zito one of the guys that speculated to be the a diddler? I've never heard that. Okay. No. You want to start that rumor here? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the fucking the prowler, the the pitchfork in the shower scene. I think you need to take your shirt off. Take your shirt off so we can so you can Who's this guy? Cockblock, that's what he is. The Red Ranger? This they set him up like, "Oh, this guy is showing up. He's going to be the it's the last movie. It's the death of Jason. This guy is going to be the guy that defeats Jason cuz Jason killed his uh his sister who was the chicken part 2." And apparently, here's a fun fact. Apparently, in the original cut of part two, uh, the main chick and then that the Kevin Bacon wannabe lookalike guy that when they were fucking, apparently it showed her tits and they cut it out because they found out she lied about her age and she was only 16. Jeez. <laughs> but yeah, that's supposed to be her brother. So it's like, okay, he's showing up. He's going to kill Jason. And then he, he just dies like a bitch the first time he sees Jason. My question is, did the director keep the director's cut footage? Take it home with him? I don't know. I've heard they destroy shit like that whenever they find out stuff like that. So you're talking about this this movie. So in this movie, this guy, which movie was that? The 16-year-old tip? No, the second movie. Second one. He's the brother of the chick from the second movie, of the character from so, the second movie. Uh, okay. And that chick has some nice tits. And I can say that because she was only 16. <laughs> She's older now. It's, it's perfect. It's okay legal. now. She's legal now. Okay. That makes a little, <laughs> oh my gosh. That's funny. That's how we get away with this stuff because they're all older than us. I went to. I uh, think I. I think I actually read that it was destroyed because they destroyed it. They destroyed the Brandon Lee death scene too from the crew. Okay. 
what they do with all the Tracy Lords pornos because she was doing porno since she was fourteen. She lied about her age. It was too late by then. Those are still out. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm she. They're, they're pro- uh, do, are they illegal? I think they're illegal. Like they 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 got taken off shelves and everything. But I'm sure you can find them on the deep web. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, and then get get arrested. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure they're out there. But yeah, they got taken out. What happened to the guys that did did her? Well, I don't know. It's kind of weird because she duped everybody. But like in this day and age, like getting duped is an excuse. You still get busted. So it's like, yeah, you think they would throw the book at her for lying, though. It's weird. She's a minor. It's weird how they how they do it. She's a minor. But uh, yeah, it's fucking weird. It was a different time back then, man. Um, you have all these, you know, actors getting railroaded for the Me Too movement and all kinds of stuff. But all those fucking guys like. You know, Peter Fonda, Jack Nicholson, all this fucking old Hollywood. Dude, they all fucked like 14-year-old girls. Probably. Right? The, Ro- the Roman Polanski thing? Come on, man. That shit happened a lot. That was at Jack Nicholson's house, for fuck's sake. Roman Polanski did an interview where he's like, I think you're lying if you say you're not attracted to 14-year-old girls. Really? He said that? Yeah, he said something like that. Yeah. He's like, I fuck 14-year-old girls. I ain't afraid. I admit it. You would, too. you just lying. I'm sure it's paraphrased. I'm sure it's paraphrased, but is there really an he interview? He didn't say it like that, but he said... Dude, I got to see this interview. You got to sh- send it to it me. It was on that HBO documentary of about him. Oh. It was on Netflix for a while. And his wife was killed by the Manson cult. Sharon Tate, yeah. And his wife was fucking hot. I don't know why he wanted to fuck 14-year-olds. So did he... Uh, he, have, he obviously fucked the 14-year-old after the murder, because he went to France after that. Mm-hmm. That was well... That was after that, yeah, because that was... In the seventies, I believe that was like Chinatown era. McFly's finally gonna get laid. Apparently, the song they were really listening to in this scene was ACDC, uh, "Back in Black." <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. Dance. It makes it better that he's not dancing to anything. Playing, it's like what <laughs> it's is like he, he dancing? Was just to? trying to stroke a cock for a minute. He's fucking. Uh, he's ro- robot fucking. That's how <laughs> robots fuck. He's fucking a fish or something. I want to like memorize all these moves and throw them out on a dance floor someday <laughs> and just and just swoon the chicks with the mcfly dance that guy's dressed like fucking john goodman in the first season of roseanne that's how he dresses <laughs> you know he's got that i was gonna say chevy chase but chevy chase yeah <laughs> chevy it chase too. In fucking vacation see they somebody should have capitalized on chevy chase and made his porn name chubby chase <laughs> chubby chaser chubby chase i got a full-on robot chubby Dude, uh, let's chase it. What was it? Uh, my brother, my brother used to, he got caught looking up my dad. I had a computer in the house and my dad used to go on it too. And so did my brother and my dad would like look up the history and he'd, he'd make fun of the porn that my little brother was looking up when, <laughs> cause we were like, you know, teenagers, right? Like he's like 14. I can't wait to do that to my son. And, uh, yeah, he, he literally would, he, my dad had no like shame. He would humiliate him in, in, in public family outings or whatever he'd be like in the middle of dinner oh like so you know i was on the internet and i saw that you like to frequent uh grande girls.com and uh hefty honeys.com because <laughs> he liked he liked big chicks and it was just one things where he like it's so funny because to this day he, he he he'll use the excuse oh it's a drought it's a drought right now that's why she's big he fucking likes bigger chicks and he's like just even he'll never admit it like you literally by choice, go it's to a drought as in he can't find anyone. What's that mean? He's a, dr- it's a drought. <laughs> it's a drought. Funny. Like he just he, he has to. Have, it's I got. There's nothing else. There's nothing better to fuck. I gotta take what I can get. <laughs> that's all I caught, <laughs> and it's all I caught. <laughs> I, it's the best this year in the world of fishing. The bigger, the better. Not so much with women, right? Right. But it's yeah. so funny though. But yeah, it's like he went to those websites. You should tell that story, Mac, about that time you told that chick you haven't you hadn't seen in a long time. You're like, yeah, come over, we'll fuck. And she came over. And you're like, oh, what <laughs> happened? Okay, so you just told the story, Zach. Do you, can you tell yeah, it differently? Yeah, pretty much did. Yeah, she probably, he probably doesn't want to tell her name now. Oh, I can't. I think her name was <laughs> or some shit. I don't but remember. you did fuck her still, right? But, okay, a long time ago. He owed it to that. her. <laughs> oh, okay, so like, she used her old, like, I don't even know if MySpace was still a thing, but I know Facebook was. And she used the same picture from like when I knew her back in the day. And like, <clears throat> I don't know, it was weird. Like, she just randomly started talking to me. And we were talking on there, and I was like, okay. And I was like, this seems like it's going to go somewhere. So, <laughs> uh, Philip was passed out, and I was in his room. And, like, 
uh, she fucking, I was like, come over, just being stupid, and she actually was like, okay, I'll be there in a little bit, I'm in this town, I'm like, uh, what? So I didn't, I didn't expect it. And like an hour later she shows up and she gets out of her fucking like buggy car. She had like one of those fucking buggies with the eyelashes and shit. Yeah. Like had the eyelashes and everything on it. I was like, what the fuck? She gets out and she's like fucking, I'd say like 40, 50 pounds bigger. Dude. She looked like the stay puff. I was like, God damn it. It was really awkward. She's like, Hey, and I was like, <laughs> I was just like, hey, what's up? Oh. Like, you ain't no Janet Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, got out of the car, look more like Freddie Jackson. Pretty much. But anyway, she came in and yeah, we yeah we did stuff. It was, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> and then after that, I like I never talked to her again. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll see you again. She's like, yeah, you need to come over, hang out, have dinner. Like, <laughs> you you just <laughs> had you just had to make the story sad at the end. Yeah. <laughs> no, he did a good thing. He gave her some pity sex, right? Or did you enjoy yeah. it? You were probably like, ah, it's better I nothing. think I saw her later on, and she lost her lost weight. But and you were like, why didn't we fuck now, though? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> now you're, like, hitting on her again, like, hey. But no, definitely not. That's funny. I haven't seen or talked to her in, like, fucking five billion years. Did she have a bad personality, too? Anything? Was there any redeeming stuff, at least? I don't know. Oh, you didn't care? You're just like, I just want to fuck her. Her mouth. Oh. That was the redeemer. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't even know that was your knee. We just, we just <laughs> went full <laughs> sexist. I just slapped Courtney's knee. I thought I was slapping the bed. Oh, you're telling that, you're telling that story with her in the room? Yeah. That's why it was kind of awkward, but I think she doesn't care. <laughs> She's in a different world right now. Get her on the show. We'll, we'll ask her what she thought of that story. Here, come here. No, come here now. Tonight. Just do it. Here, Zach has a question. Hurry up! You're ruining our podcast. Oh my god! Why do you do this to me? Get over here in the mic, <clears throat> not so loud. Hello. Hello. So, what'd you think of that, Courtney? What'd you think of that story he just told? It was pretty funny. <laughs> nice. I was giggling. So, if you were there when it happened, would you have joined? <laughs> sure. Would you would you have licked the butthole of this chick? <laughs> I guess I could try that. Would you would you fuck fat bitches, Courtney? <laughs> you like the fat hoes? That's not an answer. We want an answer. Would you fuck a fat bitch? If she was clean. <laughs> Ew. And, and there you That's have gross. it. I don't think there I you have Why it. is that gross? Hold on a minute. Give me this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be with her tomorrow. She's not going to be here anymore. You get fucked a fat. You you just admitted you fucked a fat bitch. Oh, you're right. Never mind. I can't. I did fucking one. <laughs> I'm a fat bitch. If you fucked me, you'd be fucking a fat bitch. I'd fuck you any day, buddy. Bring me those fat ass. Apparently, ass. this chick. Apparently, this chick got pretty pissed off during the filming of this scene because I guess the water was really cold, and well, during her kill scene, Ted White actually. Basically, he got pissed off, and he's like, we're stopping shooting until you cover her up and get her warmed up. So they had to stop shooting the scene. It doesn't look cold right here. It looks warm and foggy. It's when she's in the in there, and the the rig they set up for her death. She just needs to stop being a bitch. <laughs> hey, so did you guys see that thing where they someone randomly put a Jason down under a lake? Yeah, I saw that. Is that- That's fucking crazy. Like, if you went down there scuba diving or just fucking randomly swimming and saw that, wouldn't that freak you the fuck out? It was like in uh, Michigan. I would nut in its face. I would take it. I'd take its mask. <laughs> fuck it. Yeah. Oh, take the mask off, nut in its face, and put it back on. Mm-hmm. What about the thoughts that you guys can, like, stay at Camp Crystal Lake? I'd That's- love to do that. How much are they charging for that? I don't know. Hey, we should go there and kill people. <laughs> Zach? Yeah, okay. So it, so next time someone dies there, they're going to have this as evidence, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, does that scare you? Does that fucking scare you? You know it could happen, baby. We could be the next Camp Crystal Lake slashers. But we didn't do it. How much are they charging? I don't know. Probably a blowjob or something. Uh, jo- Josh was saying that until recently, they were kind of standoffish. They didn't like people showing up on the grounds and stuff. So maybe they realized like, they can make money. Yeah, I don't know why it took them so long, really. Yeah, now 
I should have I should have went there when I was over there. They should do one of those who done it, you know, like those things oh, like on a train. Yeah, like a uh, Yeah, I know what you're saying. Get somebody in on it and then they're the killer and then all Murder the- on the Orient Express type stuff. People got to figure out who to kill her. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. How about the guy that's got a Jason mask? That guy right there. <laughs> they'll, they'll have a stand in play Jason. So you don't really, it'll be like Roy. It'll be like part five. So he's, he's wearing a fake back of the head too. You know, what's funny is as a kid seeing uh, part five and we see Jason fall and then we see that he, he didn't, he wasn't even really bald. I never got that. It was a Jason imposter. I'm like, Jason, Jason doesn't really shave his head. I didn't know that. How do you do that? How did he get those effects? Did he call up Tommy Jarvis? Steal him out of his room? Or Tom Savini? He called up the Savini. Aaron's favorite man. I hate that guy. Uh, have they updated the uh, the game yet with any new maps, any Jason X stuff? They just revealed that uh, one of the things you can unlock from the single player mode is new uh, fucking uh, thing, like a mode. What, what's that called when you can dance and shit? Taunts, taunts, or gestures. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully they're they're close to the single player. I haven't touched that game in a while. I know because you're fucking collecting Pokemon in that monster game, nonstop. <laughs> oh yeah. You don't, I guess you can capture them, but you don't get to keep them. <laughs> then what are you doing? Uh, I've been playing Far Cry, man. Far Cry 5 is fucking awesome. I've been watching Far Go. <laughs> <laughs> mm, look at those pants. It's good shit. I'm ready for part three. Part one was better than part two. I'm ready for part three. It's got my baby in it. My okay. baby. It's your baby. Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Mary Elizabeth. Look at this bitch. She's like, I ain't fucking you. All right, never mind. We can fuck. You know what I watched last night, Zach? What? Uh, I went over to my brother's house and we binge watched because he hadn't watched it yet, and we binge watched Ash vs Evil Dead season two again. No, I haven't watched it all yet. That's what I was gonna do, and I totally fucking forgot. And uh, so I, I, th- I think it's, I think season three is about to wrap in the next week or two, right? It's got to be almost done. Mm-mm. Like they're on seven. No. Oh, okay, there's ten episodes. How long does it take to like purchase shit on Voodoo like after they're done? Because I know Rick and Morty was out for like they don't even have that out yet for release. I think you could buy them as they air. You can buy the whole season. Oh, that's cool. Before it's even done airing, I might just do that for season three. I'm just gonna get the the Showtime app the week of the final episode of Ash, and I'll just binge watch it for the at least the trial. Yeah, if they're gonna renew it, that's probably the best way to go. But a lot of people are thinking they're just going to cancel it. It's dumb. Which sucks. If they put it on Netflix, man, everybody would have been happy because everybody has Netflix already. It's nothing additional. And people want to stream. People just want to binge shit. People just, everybody would have been happy. I don't know why Netflix said no. Especially a 30 minute long comedy show. I don't know. It's 22 minutes, not even 30 minutes. Like, yeah. I don't know why Netflix said no to an existing property like that. They said no to... Uh, they went to Netflix first. Yeah, they said no. Fucking... They fucked up. They 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 went full retard. They dropped the they, ball. Yeah, they're, they're dropping all these stupid Netflix. It would be a bigger hit if it was on Netflix. I don't think we'd be in the situation where it's you know threatening not returning if it was on Netflix. Now they're trying to... Uh, they're trying to put forth that Ash might die at the end of season three. It's like, no, he won't. And then his daughter will take over. Th- see, that was, uh, I can't see them doing that. That's stupid. That'd ruin it. Unless he just really didn't want before, to keep playing. Before we get too much into that, has anybody, have you guys watched season three? Cause I haven't. No, I, I the, the latest one I watched is uh, episode five. Okay. So obviously don't give me a spoiler, but do you, how is it stacking up compared to two? Cause two is amazing. So far, so good. You think it's as good as two? It's it's just as enjoyable. I'll have to... Okay. I don't know. The finding out he has a daughter thing, that's kind of bugging me. It's just as fine as him having a fucking dad and all that stuff. His dad shows up again. Don't <laughs> fucking ruin shit, man. 
That's not he just ruining. did. Yeah, you just yeah, ruined you did. something. That's not ruining. It's okay. On, don't they show commercials with them on it? Don't I don't I've stayed away. I've stayed I've never away seen from any all commercial with his mom. Just his mom and his daughter. I've stayed away from every seen. commercial. Zach. Well, sorry, you guys suck. You snooze, you lose, bitch. Sorry for party rock. I literally said, "Hey, don't give any spoilers," and you did it anyway. So that's, that's, that's not a spoiler, though. I, I can yeah. say Ruby shows up again. That's not a spoiler, dude. Stop it. <laughs> Hey guys, Ruby's back. Ash is back. Pablo, remember him? <laughs> Ow. Yeah, but Ruby fucking died. Well, she didn't. At the end of season two, she did. Season two ended with her walking off. She was in the audience and she walked off. What the oh, fuck? Oh, yeah, you're right. Still, don't talk about it anymore, please. I want to enjoy it. You ain't enjoying shit, bitch. <laughs> yeah, ruin it for him. <laughs> fuck his life. Dude, I had a I, uh, I worked with a guy uh a few years ago and his thing, he loved spoil shit. To fucking talk about shit. Yeah, that's no, how it is at our But work. he did it at the same he did it on purpose. Like and he was a guy that never saw the movies. He he loved just to, looked them up. He loved to read the spoilers. Then he's he's for him he still went and saw the movies, but he loved to read the spoilers and everything first. Then he goes see the movie. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, and I'm like, that doesn't bug you? He's like, no, it doesn't hurt the enjoyment of the movie at all. And we'd be at work. I don't give a fuck about spoilers. I do. And it's like, I, I we, do sometimes. I mean, and the thing is, is I made it clear that, well, don't tell me stuff because I like to enjoy the movie. And he'd know I was going to like go see whatever movie on Friday or whatever. And they'd be like, okay, well, I won't tell you that this happens and this guy dies. I'm like, you motherfucker. He would do that shit all the time. All the time. You should have sucked his cock and made him humble. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think sucking the cock makes him humble. That makes me humble. <laughs> Fucking his ass would that make him That makes you humble. gay. Oh, fuck his ass, yeah. That's so funny. I could close my eyes and pretend it's a chick's cock. Yeah, I I used to, I, I still do. I'll walk to the back and there'll be people working on the truck and that's all they'll talk about is the fucking movie that came out. I'm like, shut the fuck up. It's because that's all they have in their empty fucking lives. It's the movie. We're born, we die. Our lives suck. We pay fucking shitty bills. We only get to rest when we're dead. That's depressing. Exactly. That's why I said it. Take an umbrella. How did McFly score any chick like that? Yeah, so he must not... He shouldn't have had a problem making... You wouldn't fuck McFly? No. What if I told you he's got a 10-inch cock? I'd run. I'd fuck a fly. I would fuck George McFly and Marty at the same time. Especially if I got to get to the mom after. (laughs) <laughs> that is a, no that is a good question like okay so mary elizabeth winstead that's your dream girl right zach fuck yes is she is seriously is she, would you say she's your ultimate or do you have somebody higher i don't know okay but he, hey that the chick on that puts that boy in the tombstone that's his ultimate <laughs> so but for the, he doesn't know who you're yeah for about. the sake of everybody's knowledge we'll, we'll go with mary elizabeth winstead so legit question if you had to fuck like her brother and her father to get to her, but at the end of it, you were promised her any way you wanted. I would probably. Do would it. you do it, Zach? What do I gotta do with her brother and her dad? Everything you gotta fuck. You gotta come in both their asses. They don't gotta fuck me. <laughs> no, you just gotta fuck them. You gotta rail them. Okay, that's not so bad. <laughs> he wins three times. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just close my eyes and pretend it's her hole every single time. I get to fuck her three times. You gotta shit. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. You gotta let the brother shit in your mouth while okay. the dad puts so his yeah, cock in your mouth at the same time. <laughs> and then you gotta swallow it. His cum and the shit. You gotta swallow that nut <laughs> and that shit. I can't see myself actually being able to swallow a nut and keep it down. I'd probably throw up. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> as long as you put it, you know, as long as you let them do it, they gotta shit in your mouth and cum in your mouth at the same time. Would you let them? The shit has to happen. <laughs> yeah, both of them at the same time. Like the son is shitting in your mouth while the dad's getting ready to blow a fat ass but load. We'll in your up mouth. the ante though. You get Mary Elizabeth Winstead in like your basement, like in your sex dungeon for life. No, you get to marry her. Yeah, it's like it's not her. just like a one time thing. You go through all that with the brother and the father once, and you get married forever. And she has a say in this, right? I'm not doing it against her will. <laughs> She's desperately in love with you too. Yeah, we're gonna up this a little bit. You only get to you only get to have sex with her one time after that. Would you do it? 
Then probably I don't I don't fucking know. Would you let the sun shit in your mouth and the dad come in your mouth at the same time just to fucking <laughs> fuck her one time? I probably wouldn't. <laughs> that would suck. Hey, and you get to record it. Why would that make it better? Because you get to play it over <laughs> for the rest of your life. Oh, I get to f- record the sex with her? Yeah, you get to post I thought it. thought you meant the dad and them shitting in my mouth. Oh, that's what I thought he meant, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 that, too. <laughs> no, you get to film it with her. I don't want shit and in, in, in cum in my mouth. What if that was the video that your kids found in your closet? What about shit and blood? <laughs> you know, like, what is, what's happening to I'd dad? I'd be like, guys... I, I can't explain this. This was the chick I got the fuck because. No, of. I'm talking. About, I'm talking about a video of the, the. I'm talking about a video of the son and the father. Yeah, I'd say I can explain <laughs> this. This is the chick I got the fuck afterwards. Yeah, it's like <laughs> one day you guys will understand, and you'll be like, "Oh, we get it now." <laughs> They'd get it. I don't plan on having kids right now, anyway. So it's okay because he cut off one of his balls. That's so funny. Uh, <laughs> gross. What's going on in the movie now? Fuck. <laughs> we're all like, we're all amazed by this like shit. Fucking. She's looking for Gordon, the dog. He's gone. Gordon from Sesame Street. His name's Gordon. That's why the dog. Gordon. Jeff Gordon. Get your ass back uh, here, boy. If we did a drunken commentary, this we could take a sh- shot every time someone says Gordon. Hold on. If we did a drunken commentary on this, you would have said you would have let them shit in your mouth just for one night. Probably. You've gotten soft, Zach. <laughs> yeah, you're you're a little bitch right now. I don't like it. Now I don't care about comedy. I'm just being truthful, though. <laughs> if I if I just wanted to be funny, I would I wouldn't have even thought about. It. I'd be like, yep. Do anything. <laughs> yep, do it all. I will fucking, I will cut off her her brother and dad's dick and keep it forever and suck it every night. In that case, all right. What if like, what if? Okay, so I'll kind of lighten the load of it, but I'll also change the prize. So for it's a little saltier for five hundred dollars, right? Five hundred dollars. Would you fuck one? You know, because technology is really advanced. One of those fucking latex. Guy dolls. You have to fuck a guy. It's not a real guy, but it's a fucking. Oh, fuck that for fun. <laughs> fuck that for free, dude. <laughs> no, really. Just free? to see what it'd be like. <laughs> like if you got experiment. I thought it'd be funny to buy a dildo, a huge one, and just set it on my desk <laughs> for like whenever we get whenever we get a video show because it's gonna happen sometime, and I could just slap myself with it every once in a while. Oh god. And <laughs> we're gonna do video shows. At some point, we got to. I have a feeling if you had a video show, you'd be uh, you'd do the sequel to One Man One Jar. Oh, oh yeah! Fuck. Remember when we watched that, Mac? That's whenever disgusting. we were recording, uh, we watched all kinds. Of, we there's some stupid shit going on then. What happened when we watched that? What did I do when I saw that? <laughs> you probably, I think you fucking laughed really hard. Like, See, like you do Aaron everything. didn't. Aaron didn't believe that I laughed at that. Yeah, I showed him. I showed him. Uh, Two girls, one cup, and I, I like when I first saw it. I was playing Modern Warfare Two, and I puked in my mouth and had to run to the bathroom. <laughs> the guys online, the guys online that I were playing with, were the ones telling me to watch it. And I was like, "Is it fucking people killing people?" Because at that time, it was that one hammer where those dudes led that guy out in the woods and killed him with a hammer. Oh, I never seen that. That's fucked up. You said, oh. "Yeah, it's fucked." And uh, I thought it was something like that. And they're like, no, just watch it. So I don't know where you hear the fucking piano music. And then I don't know where shit just squirts everywhere. And I'm like, Hoo-ha! I puked in my mouth, ran to the bathroom. I fucking come back, show this <laughs> idiot. And this, the first thing that happens right when it starts doing it, he fucking flies out of his computer seat, hits the wall and falls laughing. And I'm like, that is fear fucked. <laughs> That's what my dad did when I showed him too. And then, yeah. And you then, showed your dad? Yeah. We're like, he's like, dad. I was like, hey, Uncle Lloyd, come in here and come in here and watch this. And he's like, what is it? And he's eating. <laughs> and he's just fucking smiling because he's all like, what are we watching? You know, he's always happy. Fucking he's like, what do we got here? And he and fucking, you know, and he's like, what the hell is this? Like, he's fucking into it, though. Like, he was laughing and shit. Oh, my God. It was the funniest thing ever. That's disgusting. I never watched it. I never fell for it. People try to trick you. You never saw that comedy? I never saw. There's there's other ones too like where they're painting with their shit. There's one where there's a priest and they're by a car and it's a priest and a nun and he's fucking she's like licking his asshole and he's like, "Oh." <laughs> and she just starts shitting all over her face. It's fucking terrifying. It's a real I horror. I think I saw that one too. That one's like real scab porn though. Oh, it's fucked. 
Two Girls, One Cup. There's people that think Two Girls, One Cup was just fake and they like injected something into their butt. That's which fucked is still if they did. Fucking gross, but it does look like fake shit. Yeah, I heard it looked like soft serve. Yeah. It, cake farts is fucking funny. <laughs> Where there's a chick that just farts on everything. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. She's like, He's bringing up the Sluthead classic, Sluthead.com. She's like, ugh, ah. And you just see, like, her ass cheeks smack the cake a lot and oh. fucking just makes funny noises. It's fucking hilarious. Remember Goatsy, that video? Fuck all that. Or the Special Olympics where the guy cuts his dick off. What? I don't remember that, but what? Goatsy was, like, <laughs> some chick, like, farts or something and her asshole comes out. And then a guy jacks off on her asshole. It prolapsed. Her prolapsed asshole, yeah. It's fucking gross. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of those videos. It's fucked. You guys are fucked. There's one that's like goatee where this chick's in a bathtub and she's like just shitting all over herself. Why are you guys watching <laughs> like this a, stuff? It's like a fountain. Why do you guys watch this stuff? Why do you, you guys it's have to- fucking- s- You seek it out. That's like that thing like today everyone's posting about some guy getting shot on Facebook Live. Fuck, I can't watch that shit. I try so hard not to press play. That's not like that. That's someone dying on camera. Oh my- Dude, I know, but it's just weird shit like that. Like, I can't do it anymore. I used to just click play because I couldn't help it. Now it's like, nope, skipping. Yeah, I don't see it. it's not worth it. So, like, the last one I saw was on YouTube, and it was, like, cops brought this guy to be questioned, and they oh, had the camera himself. on him. Yeah, and he pulls a gun. He's sitting there. He keeps drinking water. He's like, oh, I've seen that. I've seen that one. That's on break.com. That's, like, Ryan's favorite website. Remember he shoots himself in the chest, right? No, he shoots himself, like, chin up. Oh. Yeah. But the funny thing is I remember the after I watched that, I scrolled down in the commentary. He says, got to drink a lot of water. It's going to be really hot in hell. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> or there's one that's like, that's fake. Everyone has to say everything's fucking fake. And it, like, it's funny when the, the officer, the interrogator, comes back in the room. He's like, oh, shit. I thought you searched him. Hey, how did he get this in his pants? I thought that was his cock. Or that there's that one where that black guy just pulled some dude like pulled up to some old man walking, and asked him like if he like about his last relationship or some shit because his girlfriend broke up with him and then he just pulled out again and shot him right there on Facebook Live. That's the newest one. That's the one that was this past year. Yeah, that story. Yeah, that that's it's kind of old, but there's this new one out that now where they're driving and some chicks like acting and he's like, oh, don't worry, I took the clip out of it, but she points it at the dude and pulls the trigger and shoots him right in the head. What? A, see, these are, people are stupid. <laughs> there goes McFly. Did she know? Was, did she really think there was no clip in it? I don't know. Everyone's saying that they did it on purpose to kill him. But then, like, he took the clip out, and I think they just didn't cock it back and pull the the bullet that was in the chamber out. What, what was her reaction when a bullet went to his head? Uh, you can read it. I didn't play the video. I just read it because someone posted it. So that sounds- And they freak I- out. They freak out and jump out of the car. Even to put a gun you don't think is loaded to a head and, sh- and pull a trigger, yeah, it's fucking pretty, retarded. Yeah, yeah, it's like that's almost as dumb as the fucking kids that tried to shoot through the book, or that's dumb as kids snorting condoms through their nose and spitting it out of their mouth. Or that's an pods. old thing that I guess is coming back. That's like a Steve. That's like a Stevo thing. Yeah, yeah. They would pull it out of their nasal cavity in their throat. I'm surprised they're not fucking swallowing goldfish, and puking them out. Well, that wouldn't hurt anybody, so of course they can't do that. They need to do... Tell them to do worms. Let's start that. Fuck, snort worms. I want to put forth the blow your head off challenge and see if people fall for it. I'm sure they would. <laughs> I put this gun in your mouth. Make sure it's loaded. Film it. You'll get so many subscribers on YouTube. Maybe not that, but I could see something like Russian Roulette doing videos of Russian Roulette. Oh, my God. That's just as stupid. <laughs> well, that's not a sure thing. Like, I don't think people just rush out to like literally kill themselves. But like Russian roulette, guaranteed hits, and you got like, one six chance that you fucking eat it. I don't know. That'd be the dumbest thing ever. What's this story though about the guy, the hammer in the woods? I never heard about that. What describe that? <laughs> it was it was a it was like the murder of some guy. It's called like three guys, one hammer or something. This guy was on like an ATV driving out in the woods, and like these guys acted like they were like lost. They put a hammer in a bag and just hit him in the head with it they let him out into the forest because that's where he was and they said they were lost and they had some or needed help so they took him all the way out to like this area and then they fucking just jumped him and then like the video shows him like hitting him in the head with a hammer fucking stabbing his eye out with a fucking screwdriver it's fucked it's real yeah it's yeah yeah and they're like if you look it up online 
Like they all went to court and fucking got. Yeah, like, it was like, hey, it showed. I saw the picture of the wife holding his picture after he was. Di- I was like, dude, this is fucked up. Yeah, I'm never watching that again. Gross. You know, somebody's listening to this. Like, I gotta find it. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta pretty much. How old is it? Like, what kind of? It's really was old. It like, a, how, were they filming it with like a flip phone? I was living in Florida at the time, going to college there. So I would say like two thousand. It was like two thousand eight nine ish. It was fucked. Gross. You went to college. Where did you study? Uh, I went to SU. Your mom goes to college. <laughs> <laughs> I went to SU. <clears throat> What's SU? Uh, Subway University. Oh. <laughs> Subway. <laughs> Stanford. No Subway. No, I I went to I went to that full sale real world place for a while for game developing, wasn't it? It's in like all the game mag. Yeah, I went for computer animation. It was hard as shit, and then I got homesick, so I left. I was there for a year. <laughs> homesick. I went to, it was yeah, it was in Winter Park. I was fifteen hours away from family. Well, not really. I was like two and a half hours away from my aunt in Jacksonville, and then like three hours away from my friends and. They lived in <clears throat> right next to Fort Lauderdale, but I was like smack dab right in the middle. It sucked. That's nothing, man. Did I live all the way across the country from anybody? Well, I know this was this was like I was nineteen. Okay, that's what I was like. 18, I left 19. the country when I was nineteen for five straight years. Oh, well, cool. Jeez. Well, that's because I, was, your, I your wasn't doing sucks, too well then. in school, though. That's the thing. I started failing classes and shit. Oh, was... it's probably because your family sucks. Don't don't get pissed off at me. Yeah. Fuck you. I missed my family. <laughs> nah, I just, I wanted to get out because I just started, that was the first time I ever failed a class and like I was taking it over again and they're like, yeah, you get to retake it for free, but if you fail again, that's $3,000. And I was like, eh, I'm good. Well, um, the, a lot of these people that were going there already knew all like the programs and shit because, you know, at different, pl- at different states and whatnot, you know, they all like, you know, like Indy, they fucking... For like different languages, you can do Chinese, Japanese. They have that here. We only had fucking French and Spanish. But like this guy's like, oh yeah, we had Maya at my school, and I was like, we had fucking C plus plus. That's all we had. So I didn't know shit, and I was just, I don't know. I went too early. Did you have a crazy year though? Like your first year away? Uh, well, it's a, uh, it was a. You get a bachelor's degree in two years, so you had to like pass the classes within like a month or two. Oh, and it just fucking it was horrible. Like you had to like learn the shit ASAP, then fucking start working on your project, and then the ending was your project, and if you passed it or not. <clears throat> I left during shading and lighting. That's what we were working on. Did the the fucking uh, teacher get you up on on stage? You show your project, and he's like, "I bet you're not in the honor roll, huh?" <laughs> oh, hey, that that's a funny story to this. So, <clears throat> okay, so anyway, when we go there with my mom, like to see the school, okay, and my advisors, um, what do you call them? The resident advisor. No, the advise- advisor has like people that help them. What are they called? I can't fucking think of it. Uh, His uh, aides, I guess, something like that. Well, anyway, she showed me around and I can't remember. I think her name was. <laughs> I can't fucking remember, but she was like, I'm, I'm 19 and she was like 38, 39. Wow. And she was smoking hot, like fucking 10 out of 10. And holy shit, I was like. I have to find a way to talk to this lady because I just and every time when I'd go like there, I'd go by and see where she was. And like, I don't even know how it happened. Like, I don't know if I found her on Facebook or I, I went by the I went by the office to see if I could talk to my advisor. And she was there and I'm like, holy fuck, this is weird. And she gave me a card and it had her information on. I was like, holy fuck. But anyway, I added her online and I was like, hey, we should hang out sometime. So we did. <laughs> and we went. <laughs> We went to, she had a boyfriend too. And like, we went to like some concert, like some like bar that was playing bands and shit. It was cool. And then like, after that, like, I don't know. I, we started, I started kissing her and she's like, whoa, I have a boyfriend. I was like, oh, sorry. You fuck. Like, you, you blew it. <laughs> and you- but the weird thing is, is no, hold on. And this was around the time when the Saw movies came out. Like whenever I think Saw 3 was the last one, maybe Saw 4 that came out. I don't know. 2009 ish. Yeah, so around that time, so um, 
we would still hang out. Her kid was like 13, 14 and he had a fucking beard. He looked like he was like 25. <laughs> it was fucking weird. So like they would always be at her house. Like they'd be at the house. Cause she lived at like in some like, um, suburb area where like college people were, she lived in that area too. So, um, I would come over and we would watch Saul movies and her son would be there and she'd be smoking pot at fucking like 14, 15. She'd let him be smoking pot and she would do cool. it too. Did you fuck her or not? So, yeah. So anyway, fast forward a little bit and we're watching these movies and I'm massaging her feet and she's moaning and I'm like, what the fuck? Like it scared me at first. I was like, what's wrong? And I look over and she's moaning at me, massaging her feet. And anyway, so like we start drinking and I'm drunk and like we go to her bedroom with her son and we're all in there talking and I... <laughs> I listen, 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 I pretend I pass out, okay, I'm still awake, but I pretend I pass out, and she's like, all right, you gotta get out of here, and I was acting like I was asleep, and she's like, come on, you gotta get out, it's time for bed, you can go in there and lay down, and I didn't move, and she's like, all right, whatever, he can just stay in here, he's drunk, and so her son leaves, and then, like, I'm like, I just get up next to her, and she's like, like, I lay and, like, cuddle her or whatever, and, like, she's like, all right, we can do this one time, but that's it. And I was like, what the fuck? I thought she was going to want you to fuck her son with her. Oh. I got a heart for a second. Wait, so, and how old were you? <laughs> what? Huh? How old were you? I was 19. Man. 19. And like, yeah, we did. So how was the sex? Was it good sex? That was the first time I ever saw someone squirt. She was uh, much older and a lot more experienced. So did she have like a worn out fucking roast beef vagina? <laughs> no, no, she didn't. Wow. It was fucking awesome. And she squirted all over me. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? And she's like, do you feel that? And I was like, yeah, what is that? I was so confused. I didn't know what was going on. Hey, I got some news for you. The squirt juice is mostly piss. Oh, I love it. <laughs> So anyway, we, like, I already blew my load, like, because it was fucking awesome. <laughs> but we did it for, like, two hours. We have turned this show into the smutty fucking shit. <laughs> and <laughs> and then, like, I turned 20. And she came over on my birthday and, like, we watched a movie. I don't remember what we watched. Did you fuck again? Uh, kind of. Just some over the clothes stuff. And there was one time where I came over and we thought we were alone and like I started messing with her and she's like, Stop, don't stop. It's called rape. And Are then you about she to started to rape. No, no, it wasn't that. <laughs> okay. Cause she's like, My son will be home anytime soon. And like she squirted all over in her pajamas like her pajamas and all over the bed, and her son was in his bedroom <laughs> and her door was open. Gosh. You should have had the little fuck come out and watch. But I don't know. Like, after that, like, I talked to her for a little bit. She, We would still hang out. after. It was really awkward because I think her son knew. But he would still talk to me like he was cool with me. And I was just, like, weirded out by it. And then, like, I don't know. I slowly just stopped talking to them. And now, like. What happened, what happened to the boyfriend? Oh, I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. I stopped talking to her. Like, I'd be like, hey, what's up? Or she'd randomly message me. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. I like how you think maybe her name was. Yeah, <laughs> like you, you just described hanging out with her many times, and you fucked her on multiple occasions, and you don't know her name. Was her name or not? I don't know. It was only one time. We only did it once. Still, but yeah, her name was. He's a man whore. And and, and what's her last name? I can't remember that, oh. dude. It's been forever, ever. I want to see. It's like whenever you talk about something like this, I want to see her. I want to see pics. I want to see how hot she is. Dude, I want to see great. video of you fucking her, and and I can jack off while I watch. That's fucking weird. Yeah, that's weird. Is that incest? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney's over here looking at me like she wants to kill me. Maybe the son was filming it. We don't know. Dude, that's so nuts. But at the same time, it's like, man, like uh, a hot older chick in you know late thirties. That's being that young. That's probably like that's like tops. It was like a true porno. It's like tops. <laughs> How old were you again? 19. And then I turned 20. So yeah, he was 19. Who cares? I'm just saying like it's, it's it would have been like a big thing. You probably were get you probably giving yourself a high five. If you said you were 17 at the time, I'd probably make you say 19 and I'd fill it in to every time you said something. No, I it wasn't. No, I was 19. <laughs> I might have been 20. 
You should have told her after you nutted inside of her. Uh, I have something to tell you. I'm actually 16. <laughs> Look, there's the famous scene where Gordon just jumps out the window for no reason. <laughs> Why the just fuck the- did they film that? <laughs> Because they wanted to see a dog jump out of a window. I kind of just want to see it. Be but like, anyway, the funny thing is she's like, you can go inside me. I'm sure you've probably never done that before. And I was like, uh, yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck it. Does she have her tubes tied? Yeah. That's cool. That's funny. cool. Damn. Like, we can only do it just once. She goes all fucking out. Pisses in your face. Mm-hmm. Tells you a nut inside of her. She was, she was, she was kind of a slut. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> she smacked me around a little bit. That's funny, man. I'm a little worried about being a slut. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. I was 19 or 20. That was Bobby Hill. That was Bobby Hill, yeah. Did you say Bobby Hell? Remember him, Zach? Yeah, well, there used to be a guy <laughs> in our town named Bobby Hell. He still is in our town. Oh. My dad, he comes over all the time when I'm at my dad's. And, be and like, one day, Max, like... Is it spelled H E L L? I think we were, we were eating with my mom at a restaurant. She's like, "No, it's uh, su- it's spelled different." You're like, "That sucks. I don't like him anymore." <laughs> no, I think it is spelled H E L L. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it is. That's funny. Uh, so people are like, "Wow, I I thought we were going to listen to them talk about Friday Thirteenth, but I'm hearing." <laughs> I'm hearing these fucking older chick stories. It, you, I don't know what to think. I of learned those. something new. I didn't know that it was mostly piss. Thank you for that. That's what I've heard. I've That's heard like Zach. Of- something he would want to look up is uh, women fucking squirting everywhere. Is it piss? Yeah, of course it's piss. It's got some pheromone in it though. It's, it's only released. S- it's got some sticky. It's got some pheromone that's only released whenever a chick's aroused, but it's mostly piss. I uh. Did I tell you about, uh, have I told you about the chick that was like, I don't know if I told you a story or not. So, um, okay, did I, oh, I don't, stop me if I told you this or not. Did I tell you about the chick that wanted to be pissed in her mouth? <laughs> oh, yeah, you told me that. Okay. And I was, I was like, why the fuck didn't you? Okay, <laughs> so she told me, like, uh, her, her thing was, and it was one of those things where you, you first are told that. It's like, okay, no, you're not going to judge me, right? I'm like, I don't fucking care. I might laugh, but I'm not going to judge. Oh, I just had one of those the other day. But like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just had one of those the other day, one of those talks. And she's like, uh, she's like, well, I like I like to be pissed. I like in my mouth. And I like to, it's like, do you swallow it? She's like, no, it's not gross. I don't swallow it. But it's just like, I like the <laughs> feeling of it filling my mouth to the brim and like running out. <laughs> like. <laughs> Like that degrading so, stuff. So if, if you just had to pee a little bit and you couldn't fill it to the brim, would she get pissed? Like, you just pissed in my mouth and didn't fill it to the brim? I did that for nothing. You, you're not a man. Dude, why'd that hot chick break up with you? Oh, yeah, I didn't fill her mouth up to the brim. But, like, I, apparently, I guess it's a thing because there's another girl, another girl, different time, d- totally different she wants person. She to shit to her brim. And, no, they, they go, uh, a similar talk happened, and they're like, uh, well, I like my cave to be flooded. I'm like, what? What does that mean? <laughs> I'm like, I really didn't get it what it meant. I'm like, does she let people piss in her vagina? Because that's like asking for like fucking something bad. <laughs> and I was like, I, I I didn't quite know what she meant. She's like, I like my cave to be flooded. I'm like, okay, are we talking about cum or what are we talking like about? Cream pies? What's up? No, she likes piss and she liked that. Like, what? And it turned to. He is sterile, right? Isn't it? That's fuck. Yeah, but I don't. And then it turned out like it, you know it's just people that are into that whole demeaning thing. They like you like treat them. Like- Did you find this person on Craigslist? Like all these people? <laughs> like is this backpages.com? No. What are you doing? No, it's like totally normal people, and they just kind of drop this on you. I don't think they're normal people, well, man. I think they're pretty fucked up. It's <laughs> but it's those people. They've got problems. If you like piss on anything, like it's a <laughs> it's those people that like to. What would you know? Deme- be demeaned, you know, during it, and that's like their kink or whatever. It's just fucking weird to me. Like no you one can't just fill their mouth up with your cum to the brim. Jesus Christ! <laughs> do you ever, do you ever see these pornos where it's like a hot chick and she's like, she's like, yeah, I bet you couldn't satisfy me with that dick, you faggot, or something like that. <laughs> They're like they're like calling you names and shit. That would make me so soft. It's, that wouldn't work. I'm like stop this. This is definitely a porn <laughs> yeah. porn podcast. Stop it. I'm good enough. Please stop. So this is Jason getting hit with a hammer, <laughs> and it sounds funny. Listen to it. Oh, now she, she's beating the fuck out of Corey Feldman. That's funny. <laughs> fuck you, four eyes. 
She slips and hits Corey. That would have been great. Yeah, maybe we should stop talking about all the fucking shit we've been talking about. Let's, let's, <laughs> what are you talking about? We didn't talk about anything. I like how the hammer stuck into the wall, but it was like flat. It wasn't like stuck from like the backside. Yeah, it was weird. It looked really weird. It looked like they just super glued the top of it into the wall. It looked like it was going to hit it and then fall out, but they cut away from it before it, it fell. That's what I always think. That fa. Get your za. Uh, come on, sister. You're supposed to be able to push this shit to the door. What if, J- what if Jason was the guy that liked to get pissed in his mouth to the brim? <laughs> I think his mom does. We kind of saw that uh, in Freddy vs. Jason where they tried to like give him mouth to mouth and he coughed up all that cum. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was piss. Piss. <laughs> Freddy pissed in his mouth. Yeah. Oh, there's the radio where you call Tommy. Let me mm-hmm. handle this bitch. I'll handle this. Hey, I got an idea. I'll shave my head. Yeah, what the fuck entered his brain to think that that could work? And why does it always work? You, you notice in the first, like, three or four movies, they always trick Jason by pretending to be his mom. Mm-hmm. And this one, he tricks him by making him think he's him. Little Jason. Because he always sees himself, too, doesn't he? It would have been creepier if he, like, showed up with a little old woman wig and, like, a blouse. Like, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be cool if he put on one of those masks and Jason fucked him. This is probably the most, uh... <laughs> <laughs> like that mask that looks like uh the mask from uh the mask with jim carrey jesus christ yeah he's fucked she just Look, now he's put like, the tv on his head oh, he threw the tv at his head uh-huh. oh theo told me bitch <laughs> threw the tv on his head <laughs> <laughs> look at that chin look at that belly i just want to fucking elbow drop it so hard <laughs> i want to fuck it <laughs> i want to fill his mask to the brim no, it looks like I want to put a tarantula on his stomach and then have Harry hit him with a crowbar. <laughs> have Marv hit him with a crowbar. Harry! No, he goes, Marv, what are you doing? Marv, 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 what are you Marv. doing? Marv. Marv. How do you like it, huh, you jerk? I, I like the uh, meme where it's like when she keeps sucking afterwards and <laughs> it shows him getting electrocuted. He's like, oh! <laughs> Are you nut and bushy still sucking? That was gonna be a uh, <laughs> that's a, so great. That was gonna be a bi- behind the mask podcast uh, meme or a, a thumbnail for our uh, Halloween H you should Halloween six episode. But he's like, that's too dirty. What was the picture Dude, again? Great. What was the picture? It's it's fucking Marv. It, ours ours is gonna be Ma- Michael Myers' face just sitting there. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> I getting electrocuted. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Or the resurrection. We're about two different things, but yeah, no, it was fucking stupid. It was dumb. It was hilarious. No, I'm saying, I'm saying it would have been funny to use the Michael Myers for that for that picture, but from Resurrection where he's getting burned, so he has like the burn face. <laughs> it was funny. I was dying laughing, but this well, is- the joke was he's wearing a mask, so you can't tell the face he's making anyway. <laughs> That's what I was getting at. <laughs> <laughs> she suck and he doesn't even show his face. <laughs> nice stunt dive. Dude, who could bitch. do that? Who could you jump through a window? She went right through there without hitting that two by four up there. Glass just falls right on her back and kills her. Yeah, it. she would have been impaled. That two by four right in her face. Bam. Oh, barely missed. She did it. exactly what the dog did. I could see her camel toe. <laughs> yeah, if you uh get the Blu-ray version and you brighten it up a little bit, you can definitely see it. You can see the little triangle uh, hair. They always cut the triangle into their hair. Or the Hitler stash. Could you, uh, why do people always like just dive, swan dive out of a fucking window? You would just like smash into that window and fall on your ass. Like you would not go through the window. Because they don't want to go in face first and get fucked. They just want to go in sideways and just say fuck it. But they don't. Like every, like she jumped through that window and with ease. I'm saying you wouldn't be able to jump through it. You would just fucking yeah. You just you just hit it and fall. Yeah, and Jason would have his fucking way with your ass. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. That's a shitty haircut. Yeah, I know he sucks. That's a shitty painting. Yeah, I know it sucks. He's he's gonna stab himself. Those scissors. She walked all the way back home without looking behind her to see if he was chasing her. And she's okay. She actually got up. Like, I'm sorry, she would be fucking out. And how does he shave his head with just scissors? It shows him he has a bick, and it's like, that would never work. A bick. Why is Jason like a timid bitch? He don't want to get machete, baby. 
Just easing attention, baby. Just easing attention. My fingers hurt. Dude, that, it, it makes me cringe watching him fucking bick his head that hard. Because it's like, you're going to cut yourself. Yeah. He's just fucking scraping his head. You can tell there's no blade on it. He doesn't give a fuck. And he's a kid. <coughs> I, I think that was a girl. I think that was a girl shooting all this stuff. Oh. Dude, why didn't she fucking chop him in the neck? What the fuck is her problem? She doesn't want to kill him. He's just she a just retarded wants to guy. Kidnap them, <laughs> <laughs> Jason. God, he looks horrible. He looks like Chop Top. Dude, there's no way that shade, that fucking razor did all that. He'd have to use like more than one. He was still trying to do the strand of hair even then. Yeah, and it was <coughs> it was super fast. That's like me and Zach shaving Gizmo with an electric shaver, dude. That shit sucked. It didn't work. And there was so much hair that my battery died before we can shave him. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did it fast too. Dogs will hunt. That's what he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> did you get that? Some did you get that bitch? Dog will hunt. Did you get the bitch? Did you get her? Leatherface, they ruined my Sonny Bono wig, do Oh, God. Damn, I can't believe it. Did you get the bitch? Do, did you kill do you own Texas Chainsaw 2, the uh, Scream Factory version, either one of you guys? I want to. I don't have it yet. I don't want to. I want to know if I'd get a slipcover still. Probably not. I probably wouldn't. My face! I'm surprised he doesn't make a, a like, he sees his face and doesn't make, like, a mask from that. Tommy, you mean? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> hey, you guys. No wonder you looked familiar. What's up, Corey? Remember when I fucked you? I love it, dude. He just falls in this machete and he just sinks down into it. Rah, rah. What if he talked like a retarded person? He's like, oh, you just hurt my face with that machete. He's got the voice of Patrick Starr. What are you doing? Uh, there's so much blood, Tommy. Look, uh, uh. Tommy, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna die now. Apparently, he was originally gonna put the machete like through the middle of his head, and it was gonna split his head in, in two. That would have been awesome. But they were like, no. And then uh, I guess Tom Savini knew at that point, like, oh, they're gonna make another one. Mm. Well, he kind of got his head split in half at the top. Yeah, it went mm. pretty much halfway. There's no way he's still alive. He fucked him up. He's definitely fucking. Retard Jason now. He's zombie Jason now. I'm still alive, guys. I heard everything you said. Oh, dude, imagine Jason with... <laughs> I know. I heard everything you said. <laughs> imagine Jason with an ASMR channel. He'd be clicking those fingernails. Tommy Jarvis is crazy as shit. So, like, is this him beating his dick or is he beating his head? Which one? So, oh, it's crazy. Die! Tommy, die! So I don't get it. They kind of imply that he goes mad, but all he did was shave his head. To, he's not Jay, He's not really Jason. I think they were trying to imply that he might become the killer for the next movie. Yeah, I think the plot twist is he is Jason. <laughs> I mean, look at his haircut. There's nobody even there. It was him the whole time. She's like, why are you macheteing the floor like that, Tommy? It's like a fight club ending all of a sudden. So they just kind of abandoned what they were going for here? They kind of did it at the end of part five, too, because mm. he shows up with the, with the mask on at the end of part five, and then they dropped it again. They're like, people don't want to see somebody else play Jason. We get Jason back. That would have been cool, though. That would have been cool if they would have got the Feldman to play Jason. <laughs> I, I like Jason the way he is, baby. Wait a minute. So is he still alive? Uh, No, we're talking about our mustaches. We both have one. Exactly. Do you like them? Do I look like the guy from Guiding Light? Nobody watches Guiding yes. Light. She yes, could sit on his mouth, and that mustache would tickle her clit so good. That mustache would be soaked in that nut. <laughs> in that giny juice. She'd be squirting all over it. Hey, John, you want to shave your balls? Ew, no, why would I do that? How come every time we get close to the ending, you start doing this? You start just throwing ad-libs in their mouth. What good is it putting words in Porky's mouth if his mouth isn't moving? Why are you standing there? What good is it putting words in Porky's mouth if his mouth isn't moving? That's what I want to know. Who? Ms. Doubtfire, yeah. <laughs> it's Pudgy the Parrot. I said Porky. Why? You said Because he was thinking <laughs> Porky Pig. <laughs> but yeah, be the voice of God. Don't, Pudgy. Don't smoke. <laughs> 
Well, fuck that movie. I'm glad everyone got to watch us, listen to us talk about porn. Look, if you want to go play Gandhi, then do it on somebody else's time. Well, I've got to do what I've got to do. You can just p- 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 piss off, Lou. You know what? We could do the porno parody of Friday the 13th. What is that called? Uh, no, though. I think it's called Friday They Fucked Me. Friday. I think it's called not Friday the 13th. It was one of those where they weren't <laughs> clever. Oh, yeah. That's funny. So, Zach, what do you think we should do with that story we were teasing on the... Because, uh, like I said, if you guys are listening to this podcast right now, you could easily just go listen to that uh, that Devil May Cry. Watch that on YouTube. Let's just get them to go watch it there. We'll put it on a, on a future episode. When's it going to be up? Jesus Christ. Monday is when they come out. Monday, Monday. No, they come out on Sunday. Oh, Sunday. But it's really tempting for it to go up. I saw you upload it, and it was just kind of waiting to go live. It's not uploaded yet. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, whatever, though. But, no, do you think, because we want the iTunes people. I, it's got to be on iTunes, man. <laughs> Should we put it as a bonus at the end of what, like a commentary like this since we've talked about it? Or should we just like release it as its own separate thing because it's like long enough? Maybe like record like a little intro. F- no, let me like a little intro for it. If you want, whatever. I'm so fucking confused. Do you have two dicks, dude? No, <laughs> don't tell. Don't tell. So yeah, that's what we should do. We should record like a little. <laughs> don't tell. We should record a playful little intro for it and just like and put it on as its own thing. It'll be playful. That's what we should do. That's that's totally what we should do. Let's do it, babe. Zach, do you deedle your berry outside in front of everyone? Nope, Is that what nope, you do? No, nope. First of all, everything you said doesn't even hold a candle to the real story, so just try, quit trying to guess. I remember when I was a kid, my mom was dressing me, and I ran out the door naked. And people <laughs> were driving by, smiling, and like... <laughs> Some guy's like, oh, yeah, look at that kid. That's funny. Well... That was funny. It's funny. So that's what we'll do. We'll record a little thing. Um, uh... Sega Enterprises was somebody playing Sega in this? He, yeah, I think uh, what's his name was Tommy. Was he playing like Master Maybe. System? He's playing something. <laughs> of course, it had to be Master System. Anyway, oh, and well, now we're gonna do the cast characters. That's all we got though. Uh, was there? Let me see if I have any comments I can read. I know we just recorded you. So, what did you think about our critters though? Because I didn't really. I liked it. I thought it was fucking hilarious. I loved your cover of uh. I was fucking, I don't, I think like 30 minutes before it ended, maybe an hour, I was gone and don't remember any of it. Well, what was funny was it was a half drunken commentary because only Mac, you were drinking. But what was funny to, what was funny to me though, was Zach sounded like he was drunk because he was so tired and the fucker's laying down. Oh yeah. He fucking laid down, dude. I remember that. I was like, you're fucking laying down. He's like, I'll be all right. And I'm like, what? You're going to fall asleep. He's like, I'll be fine. He was slurring his words and stuff. Uh, no, it was really funny. And like I said, that, that cover, I guess it was, you guys say it was an ICP song, was fucking great, man. Uh, I was dying. There you go. Everybody, you heard it. You heard it here. He likes an ICP song. What a fucking cock. I thought you guys did a good job, man. <laughs> so we have, uh, I'll read a couple of comments here. Let me see. Uh, somebody just says great commentary on the TMNT. That's great. No, but on the uh, Friday the 13th, that we just did. We did uh, Friday the 13th Tales, uh, I Live, Has You Die from Friday the 13th, the series. I saw something like that pop up on my podcast app. So you should, like, so should listen to it. Hey, and leave us uh, a five-star review, Mac. But <laughs> anyway, Fuck off. this Bradley Taylor who recommended it, he goes, I liked, uh, he, Rattlesnake, he, re- he recommended it, right, Zach? Mm-hmm. He goes, I liked the Tales, I Live, Has You Die episode so much that I did four or five commentaries on this particular episode. Thanks for doing this. Happy Friday thirteenth. How do you do four or five commentaries on in this one, one episode? episode? He's a super fan. He's a he's he's fucking a monster. He's a super freak. He's super. He super also comments there was an episode where the devil wanted to screw Roby called Wedding in Black, and he goes actually. Oh, gotta watch that. He one. goes actually. Roby's character and John DeLamay's characters were cousins, not brother and sister. That's right. That is correct. They could fuck cousins. That's not as bad. I know. I mean, you and Mac fuck each other. Uh. So <laughs> what the fuck. <laughs> He also goes, the cult's objective in this episode was to resurrect the devil so he can rule the world. That's about the gist I got from it. Uh, actually, the mm-hmm. episode is a prequel to the episode Bad Penny from season three. Thank you for doing this episode. It's one of my top five favorites. And then uh, Joey Wilkerson, he comments on the same one. Thanks for providing the link to watch this episode. I was like, where the hell can I find this one? LOL. Uh, yeah, that was a good call. He's like, by, oh, and then he, oh, I didn't see this message. He goes, by the way, do you guys accept movie donations? I want y'all to commentate on Alone in the Dark that badly, LOL. Fuck me. <laughs> that Uwe Bowl movie? 
Uh, Weeball. It's like, I have been hunting everywhere but online to get a second copy, but I will gladly give you mine if it comes down to it. I can find it, probably. Yeah, we can totally find it. Tell you what, he really wants us to do it that bad. Maybe we should do it for him. What is it? Alone in the Dark? Yeah, that shitty Steven Dorf Uwe Bowl movie. Yeah. So I think I think we owe it to him. Uh, let me see what else. Lastly, dude, there's just some weird chick that commented on Riverman's old Dear Mr. Gacy review from eight years ago. And that the comments don't make any sense. Like, I think she's on drugs. Um, her name's <laughs> Tina Hunter. And I went on her YouTube channel to see if maybe, like, we knew her somehow. No, it's just it's got one video. And it's this random, like, woman, like. I mean, I, I, it's just crazy. And she, uh, she's creating timestamps on his review. One of them says 7.24 p.m. shower. Like, okay. And then, that's, then another comment says 7.37 p.m. guts and buttholes, 15.42. I'm like, well, Sounds like one of our ladies. Maybe, maybe it's one of those situations where she thought she was typing it into Google, but it, that, that page just happened to be up. <laughs> guts and buttholes. Uh, and then she does another message saying, uh, four seasons, Sherry. Like who the fuck? And she says <laughs> nine timestamp nine twenty four eight thirty seven. I don't think she was intending to do timestamps, by the way, because they don't. Are those at all relevant to what he's talking about? <laughs> no. And then and then she also comments and th- th- she's commenting. Those three comments I just read were two days ago. Then she commented two more one day ago. <laughs> so and she comments the next the next day. Did you see my movie? It looks the same as this. Like, what and then then she uh she typed what happened to the other man and then i responded to that one like are you fucking talking about me oh, what the fuck are you talking about lady <laughs> <laughs> it's just is it the craziest fucking thing but uh and then hold on what else do i got oh and then sorry well yeah he brattle snake did uh request that we do wedding in black please so i would like to do it I, I'm not as a big a fan of this show as I am Tales from the Crypt, and we're going to start doing Tales from the Crypt. I want to do more of those for sure, but uh, I don't know, man. How how deep into a rabbit hole do you want to get with these Friday Thirteenth the series episodes? Whatever, baby. Yeah, so we'll put that on the list. Uh, we do have a uh, Tales from the Crypt coming out next, and I I definitely want to do another one of those too. So, but thank you guys for commenting. We'll always read these, and uh, to end it, we'll we'll keep beating this dead horse, man. If you guys are on YouTube. Great. Like, subscribe, all that dumb shit. But remember, we're on iTunes. We're throwing the links now in the descriptions if you're on YouTube. Click on the links. Check us out on iTunes because they're going to be totally unedited. We can leave in audio, do fun little intros and outros. And follow that link. Leave us uh, feedback. Leave us five-star reviews and a little uh, uh, five-star ratings and then a review. And like that's going to help us gain more visibility and uh, move up the ranks of the food chain and places like iTunes. So make sure you guys do it. And they typically go up earlier, too. So please, if you guys like our show, people like Brattlesnake, or if you guys already haven't done it, leave, leave, go click on the link. Leave five-star rating and uh, a review there. Do it for Mac and Zach. Save the world as well. Um, all the podcasts that we have, that'll help us a lot. And Mac, I was telling him if we can get 100, 100 reviews, 100 like uh, positive reviews on the main channel, that I would send him a photo of you cream pieing in Zach's ass. That's fine with me. It'll be a giveaway. If if we got a hundred views, reviews. Okay, fine. All of us. So if you if you if we get a hundred on ours, if we if if Revival House gets a hundred, I'll I'll take a big fat ass dump on Aaron's face. No, no, I have nothing to do with any of this. <laughs> oh no, you. I'm do. just benefiting from it. You do now. You just put us in it. Yeah, I'm not benefiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just making us do everything. Have you guys watched Howard? Listen, to Howard Stern. You guys are the Sal and fucking Richard Christie of the of the show, where you guys do all the gay shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but basically, fun. If we get a hundred on our channel, you'll get a photo of the aftermath. If if Mac and Zach get a hundred on theirs, you'll get like the video of everything. <laughs> what the fuck? A video now? Damn, you're up in it. <laughs> no, but how about this? We'll beat off onto a cracker and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a limp biscuit. <laughs> I think it's I think it's legit what a limp biscuit is. Okay, so Zach would never really do that, but I do think we should uh, if you guys have any ideas, I, I would totally be down with like some sort of giveaway or something cool we could do, but go leave fucking feedback. And if you do leave a five star rating and feedback and you're you know, you're referenced from YouTube, comment on uh, in the YouTube comments, let us know you did that and so we can keep tabs. But that's all we got. Yeah, you'll also also I just want to throw this out in a different thing, uh You'll be able to listen to Zach playing uh, Method Man, and I'm playing Limp Biscuit. Really? Are you guys going to do that cover? 
We should. We got to put no. the CD out before the end of the month because we said no. it was coming out. Or is that on April. the is that on the April Fools one? And you guys spoiling it? We could say that. Zach, but- do you go meh? Yeah, I'm Limp Biscuit in it, and he's Method Man. That's funny, man. He, he's referencing whenever we talked about that on Critters too, and I laughed my ass off because he referred to Fred Durst <laughs> as, as Limp Biscuit. I know, I remember that. That was pretty funny. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, after all, if this was heaven, you'd be you'd be rapping with Method Man right now, right? Is that what mm-hmm. he says? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, go check them out. They just did Critters Two for Easter, um, and then yeah, this is I, I forgot. This is in celebration of Friday the Thirteenth, so it's pretty neat. And you guys have your what the fuck did you guys do for April Fool? Oh, Slaughter High, Slaughter April Fool's Day. So yeah, ready for so that? So check that out. That's all we got. We'll catch you guys later. Bye bye, puppets. Yeah, happy Friday, you fuckers. Say it again. <laughs> no, you'll just make fun of me. <laughs> uh, I, by the way, I liked your catchphrase. What'd you say? Put it. Put you said put them in your coffins. Put them in their fucking coffins. <laughs> That's not our catchphrase. We were just saying something from a video. They're going to eat like kings when we put them in their fucking coffins. <laughs> our catchphrase was fuck the dumb shit. Fuck the dumb <laughs> shit. You could say fuck the dumb shit. That's yours. Fuck the dumb <laughs> shit. <laughs>